Hey guys, Jonathan Lazette here for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to preview the action for week 3 in the 2015 NFL season. In this video, we are going to take a look at the matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks. And let me just start off by saying this. This game is a total mismatch because these are two 0-2 teams. And even though they're both two 0-2 teams, they're in two totally different ways of thinking. Seattle is relaxed. Not a big deal. We lost to the Rams, a team that's given us fits before. We lost to a good Packers team. Not a big deal. And we have our weapon back on defense, is what Seattle is saying. I'm not saying it's what Seattle is saying. Cam Chancellor is back for the Seattle Seahawks. So Seahawks fans and the Seahawks are like, everything is okay. Meanwhile... In Chi Town, things are not so okay for the Bears. You have a team that has not looked good. You are missing Jay Cutler this weekend. Now, I do have friends that are Bears fans, and a lot of them are happy about that. Don't let Jimmy Clausen so much better, guys. But, um, so you have no Cutler. You have no Alshon Jeffrey this weekend. He's out as well. So this is just. A, a a mismatch. Um, Seattle is one thousand times better um, than than Chicago right now. Uh, you know, uh, Clawson fourteen to twenty three for one hundred twenty one yards with a with an interception when he came in to release Cutler uh, or to relieve Cutler rather against the Cardinals. Um, so that's something he's got to get better at. Well, guess what? Clawson, good luck. You get to face the whole Legion of Boom defense. So, uh, good luck with that. And here's the deal. Jimmy Graham has been, you know, pardon my language, but there's really no other way to say it. And these are his words, quote, pissed off because um, of the way he's been used in that offense. Now, I don't know why he's surprised about the way he's been using that offense. Seattle hasn't changed their offense. That's the kind of offense Seattle had when they got there. Maybe he's more mad because they haven't changed it for him. I do think he's going to have a big game eventually, and I do think it's going to be here. Um, I, I do think he's going to be able to, to do some good stuff against that Bears defense, so that should be pretty fun to watch. Uh, there isn't really a ton to say about this game, to be honest. I don't expect it to be close at all. Uh, I've got the Seahawks getting the win and getting it going away. So, there you go. I know I'm. these aren't as good as the rest of them have been, but um, you know we're getting towards the end here and trying to get them done. I'm going to change uh, the time. I'm going to change the day that I start recording these so I can Hopefully have them a lot better starting next week. So, we are 1-0 on the week. For those of you who are interested in that, uh, we are we went 4-12 and in week 2. So our overall record does not look good. But we went 1-0 on Thursday and on the week because we had the Giants beating the Redskins. So with that, we are 14-19 on the year. 783, 464, and 3 lifetime. Don't forget to like the JF's virtual page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links, as always, are down there in the description. That is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mozart for JM Sports 100 and the JM Sports Show. And this has been a preview for the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks. And I will see you guys later.